Hello beautiful people, it's Mizgo here and I want to start this video off with some very good news. We finally hit 10,000 subscribers, actually at 10.1 now, Woo! and I really wanted to let you guys know this would not have happened and this could not have happened without your support. So guys, I really do appreciate for the ongoing support and on the flip side, I am forever grateful for being able to provide you guys value and actually helping designers from all around the world elevate and actually grow and become a better designer and creator in this world. Now with the good news aside, I wanna share with you one very simple trick that I've implemented into my very own design system whilst I put together 96 variations of an input field. So let's get right into it. All right, so the reason why I made 96 variations of an input field is because I love you and I ultimately love all the designers who have jumped onto my very own design system. I've had over a couple of hundred designers actually jump into the design system and start using this piece of work every single day. Now, the one thing that I wanted to make sure is as I continuously improve this design system, I'm making it easier and easier for designers from all around the world to really simplify and streamline their process. So the reason why I created 96 variations of an input field, as you can see here, is because I want to enable designers to be able to do this. Simply drag and drop an input field wherever you want and simply toggle for whatever you need without even having to figure out or think about what you need. So you can go large, regular, small, you can go icon, no icon, caption, no caption, label, no label. You can do focused, you can do error states, you can do disabled, you can do whatever you want. Let's go icon, caption, label. This allows my designers and people part of the design system utilizing it can just never think about having to create or tinker around with little paddings and trying to move things around to create input fields anymore. You can simply go ahead and just go bang, let's move this to the side, turn this into an auto layout and just go make a form field, right, make an entire form field within seconds. Turn off all the labels, all the captions and all the icons and you pretty much have an entirely different form field all done for you in seconds. Oh, and by the way, if you do want access to this design system before the price goes up, make sure to check the link in the description below and make sure to utilize that coupon code to get 10 bucks off. All right guys, back to the video. The one thing I do want to walk you guys through is, as I was creating this uh, system, the one thing I don't want people to be doing is that if you want to, for example, potentially make all the input uh, or the text in here red, if a customer wanted to make it all red, they would potentially normally have to go in and have to select every single placeholder text and then make it go red. And a lot of designers in Figma actually do this as well. So if you were potentially thinking about creating all these different variations of an input, you might create this, turn this one into a component, turn this into a component, turn this into a component and do it for every single one. Now, if you wanted to change any of the assets for all the different components, you'd have to select every single one 96 times. So then that's why I rebuilt and restructured these input fields with something called master components. Now the master component, the way to think about this is, you need to think about with all these different variations, what are the commonalities? What are the things that keep it consistent? And what are the things that really bring it all together? So if you think about the large inputs specifically, they all have the same input field. Right? They all have the, the, the actual input and then the placeholder text. They have it all for that and that's consistent. Similar for the regular and then for the small as well. So what I did was that I actually went ahead and rebuilt the building blocks from scratch. I created the master component, which is really just the fundamental commonality component within all these variations, which is the input and the placeholder text. I created one for inputted text. So if it's not placeholder, it's like sort of filled and completed. And then I did that for regular and small as well. So watch what happens now. If someone wants to change all the placeholder text to, for example, let's say, let's change it to a blue, you will see that it will change everything to blue, right? And then if we change this back to the gray, let's say gray over here, let's make it 400, change everything back to gray. So this actually simplifies a lot of your, your design system. So if you are building your own design system 
or you're working on a project with lots of components, you might find use in utilizing master components because this will help you actually reduce the amount of work if you decide to make changes moving forward. So remember, with the master component, if I head over to my layers and then double click on this to show you, you can see that a master component normally has the four little dots within the diamond, right? And then if you take a look at the actual variations, the input field being used is actually the empty diamond. So this indicates that it is a variation of this specific Im input. So hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully now you can take these learnings and this insight into your very own design system if you are creating one, or if you're actually working on a project with lots of different components, try to think about how do you break an entire component which is used, which has a lot of different variations into smaller master components, which you can actually use to actually allow yourself to make quick edits moving forward into the future. So hopefully this gave you a better understanding on why I created 96 input fields, but more importantly, how you can leverage master components within your design system or even in your design project to really help streamline that process. All right guys, hopefully you found a lot of value in this. And once again, I really do appreciate all the support, every single subscriber, every single viewer and every single comment. Oh, and by the way, one last thing, if there is anything that you want me to create a video about, whether it's Webflow, freelancing, building your own agency, how do you charge more as a designer, Figma tutorials, whatever it might be, please let me know in the comments below because I am building up a pipeline of videos that I plan to record and share with you guys over the next couple of months. So I am opening up to feedback and thoughts and opinions. Drop them in the comments below and be sure to, if I do create your video, I will be sure to feature you as well. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.